what's up everyone, to 5 dude back on your screen. Now in this video we'll be taking a look at when men stop simping for women, part 335. Starting off today we have a woman who had a meltdown after her husband sent her a text saying I am leaving now, cannot wait to see you. She did end up crying so maybe the prank went a little too far but at least this guy knows that she really really likes him. Oh my god, my so good. <laughs> Let's go. Where are you going? With you. Where are you going? I'm running to the gas station back. Okay, let's go. Let's just No, make I'm going to buy one of We're going to go. We'll just make this a party. You got to stay and watch the kids, baby. You can't go. Oh, yes, I am coming. Why would you want to go? I'm just right there straight back. I ain't going nowhere else. Maybe you should read your text message. What text message? I ain't text nobody. Yeah, now, now you're playing stupid. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Let's go. Come on. Maybe you're back in the Where's Jenna at? Huh? I don't know, buddy. She? She... I ain't talking to her. No, why are you doing this for? You're acting psycho, buddy. I'm going for a straight back. Read your text message. I don't... No, I'm not... I'm not... I'm not doing this with you. Why? Why are you... <laughs> it's not funny. Why are you crying for? I don't understand why you're out Read your up. text message. Damn. Are you going to pay for this? No, nah, you got it, bro. Or I got to pay for everything, I guess. Do y'all take your app Apple Pay? Okay, well, I left my debit card in the car, so I guess we can go. Sorry about that. You know, maybe if I maybe if I had a real gentleman, you know, he would just pay for it, but whatever. Thank you. It's just embarrassing. Why you? Why you? Why you don't got? Why you don't got your car? Because I left it in the car. Why you did? Why you can't be my man and make sure I got all my stuff? You just made me embarrass myself. Now, now you talking about your man? You just made me embarrass myself in Walmart. I didn't make you do nothing. Yes, you did. You don't got your car. That's on you. Okay, so why you couldn't pay for it? She blindly expected him to pay for her stuff. She could have at least asked him to pay for it instead of embarrassing herself like that. Ed, why ugly men have high standards for women? Yeah, I think it's very strange. Like, it's always the fugliest men that have the most to say. But who are you to appraise men of how they look? What if they think they're a 10? Well, again, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I mean, what I might think is a 10, someone might think is, you know, a 5. But, like, maybe these men who you think are ugly, like, a lot of women think they're 10s. Okay, and so wouldn't it be fair for them to have high standards? No. Also, what's wrong with having high standards if even if you're not attractive? I mean, I just think like you need to take a good hard look in the mirror and be like all right i'm a fugly man and i shouldn't have such high standards should fugly women also think that way i don't think women are fugly i think some are so there's fugly men but not fugly women absolutely are all women tens sure yeah are all men tens no Interesting how that works. This woman is literally just trying to piss him off. What she just said doesn't make any sense and he should have kicked her off the show. Really one of the most embarrassing things just happened to me and I, it's, I have nobody to blame but myself. So I had a date with this man that we planned back on like Monday, right? So for a week now we said we were going to meet on Saturday at 1pm. Saturday comes, y'all know I'm a late ass he had me on time to my life. I'm running late. I text him like, hey, can we push back to 1.30? 1.30 comes. I'm just getting in my car. I call him like, hey, I'm so sorry. I'm running late. Da -da -da -da. I'll be there in 10 minutes. I can hear it in the tone of his voice that he was pissed off. I'm like, I get there. I call him. No answer. I text him like, hey, I'm here. He's like, yeah, I left. You're wasting my time. Enjoy yourself. Be on time, y'all. Be on time because... If my date showed up 40 minutes late, I would also just ghost her. I mean, she's already wasting your time before you even met her, so why would you waste your money on someone like that? But yeah, at least this woman admitted it was her own fault and it probably won't happen again. <laughs> Are you married? Yes. You're cheating on your husband? Yeah, Vegas. It's Vegas, baby. We're both married. Are you cheating on your husband in Vegas? Absolutely not. Just her? Maybe. 
Is she? She's cheating on her husband in Vegas. Wow. Facts? How many times you cheating on your husband? Arpia. <laughs> you got a ring on your finger, though. He did good. Look, who wants a man with no money? Nobody. Find a man with money. If she already married a man with a lot of money, then what is she out here doing in Vegas cheating on him? I bet she will leave her husband as soon as she finds someone with more money than him. Moving on, we have a news reporter with an interesting opinion about Valentine's Day that will make you think twice. I'll ask the question, fellas, when was the last time somebody got you a dozen roses and a box of chocolates for Valentine's Day, fellas? Okay. When was the last time somebody took you out to dinner, maybe paid for the hotel and the nobody's... bottle of champagne? When was the last time, fellas? That's all I'm saying. Nobody said that. Where does it say that? Nobody Is there a manual that. where it says that? Some no. things aren't said. They're just implied. They're implied by behavior. They're implied by action that's gone over time and time again nobody had to write a rule book on how this goes but if my wife did not get me a dozen roses which she never does on valentine's day i'm not going to hold it over her head for a year but well, maybe you let me walk in the door to her and I, don't, say, I don't need them that's the whole point she doesn't need them either she got everything else why you need flowers you got louis bags gucci shoes you got BMW. why do you need all that stuff it's a holiday for both of you guys to celebrate your love for one we another. celebrate it every day Dinner for myself? Do you, <laughs> I don't know. Do you do you go on a do you go on dates or do you? I think like, going on. I think sit going at on, home and eat some chocolates I, I and watch rom-coms. What do you do? On, going on a date uh, on Valentine's Day as a single person is like the people that go to the gym on January one. You get in the way of all the other people trying to do things, <laughs> right? Let, like let the people who've been in love like have their time at restaurants. Let them have the the uh, the, the, the the reservations. Move out of the way. So, oh, let me call you. Hey, right hello. Right who are you talking to? Shelly. Um. Mm -hmm. I got something for you. Hey, babe, what are you doing home? I got something for you. <gasps> yup. Do you know what today is? Yup, 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 yup. Babe. It's all you. Babe, what is in here? What's in here? It's your gift, boo. I'm gonna try to get it. It's like, mm -hmm. it gotta, it's light, so it gotta be my keys. You, get, you got me that call? I got something better than that. Baby, you got me that call? I got something better than that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I know you surprised, right? You surprised, right? Get the camera. No, 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 no. T take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Show it. Show Man, it. What you why would you what it, it, same thing I said. That's crazy, because the same thing I said was like, why would you? Bro, this whole time I'm at work. I got two jobs. But babe, I'm but busting I'm... My for you. Really? You really? You? This is what you're doing? Oh, wait, let me talk to you. Talk? No, 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 no! Don't, don't, don't talk to me. Don't babe me. None of that. Huh? The only reason I can think of of why she is doing this is because she is using him. She's probably keeping him around for his money, but she doesn't want to end up spending her life with him. Of something at age 22 i would tell myself not to get in a relationship because it's like having a part-time job bro. Okay. Really yes part-time apply a lot of time and effort like you might be doing videos all day and your girl get an attitude when you're doing your last video like when you gonna take me out to eat you might get mad in the argument you might not want to film the next day you might not want to stream the next day you might not want to go to the studio the next day it doesn't matter if you're 22 32 or 42 you can't expect a relationship to be something that you do part-time. People need you more than just nights and weekends, okay? To be a good partner, you have to show up for that other person every single day. Be willing to listen every single day. Whatever. So wouldn't that be the reason why he just told those young men that if you're more focused on something else and you really can't prioritize that woman, that you shouldn't be in a relationship? Hence why he said if he would go back when he was 22, he wouldn't sit up there and be in a relationship for the simple fact that he was focused on his goals. This is why it don't matter if you 32, 42, or 62. Some people don't know how to listen to understand. They just want to listen to respond. Some of you just have a problem with everything DDG says for some odd reason. And this man ain't done nothing to most of y'all. All right, this was it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, then make sure you smash that like button like always. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, I'm out. Peace.